since it's finally I'm finally caught up on videos, I can actually get moving on recovering. So this is my typical skyblock start. And now that I've gotten... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, no. I obsidianed my, my lava. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, let's see. We've got some dirt. And I'm going to check on the location of my base from a previous video. And I think with trees we can definitely get there we just need to get a sapling and it's going to be a lot of afk time i majorly screwed up by making that obsidian but i do know about a hundred blocks that way is the road so we need to collect about a hundred blocks i don't have much in the way of resources right now but I did make one cobblestone so I can make a shovel. And the shovel is gonna get me snowballs. And since it's snowing right now, that's at least kinda helpful. It's a type of renewable block. And yes, I could just jump in the void and start over and whatever, but where's the fun in that? Let's try and recover. I got a sapling. I got two saplings, this is gonna be possible. Oh, I actually, I think the snow is going to be our fastest way to uh, pull her out. So I'm going to just waste this dirt. And I understand that dirt's valuable and whatever else. But it's a good chunk of the distance there. And I can actually farm snow on it. I can't farm snow on the other snow very well. And if I was a longer ways away than I am right now, I probably wouldn't even bother. I would just jump in the void and start all over again but with the short distance that we are i can just farm a bit of snow and move on i just got to be careful to not build too fast when it's dark out i don't have any way to defend myself nine more blocks to build out we're not that far i built out too far i'm just lucky he wasn't a skeleton so we're gonna try to stand in the middle until daylight so wish me luck because this is not a safe situation. I do have to keep getting the um, getting the snow layers though, because if they if I don't get them, then they're not gonna give me more snowballs. I might as well break the sapling for now because I can't actually do anything with it. Um, not until daylight anyway. So I need to get to 40 to 31. So I need to go 50 more blocks. It is so close. The shovel is definitely going to break. I need to... Oh, I've got wood shovels I can make. 22. I can get to within... Well, I'm 30 blocks away. How many shovels will I need? Well, I shouldn't need more than four wooden shovels to get the rest of the way there. Um, the reason I'm doing that as math is because each shovel, wood shovel, has like 64 durability. And I don't need to go 60 blocks. Each four snowballs makes one um, one snow block. Shouldn't need to get a whole bunch of extra shovels. Like, I don't think I need another tree in order to get home. And actually, I kind of like the, stone, uh, the wood shovel because it takes a little bit longer to break. However, the snowstorm stopping is not helping things. Um, okay, so I'm at 18.08. I need to get to... Minus 1831. I know that from a previous video. So I need 20 blocks. Let's see what we have in our possession. We have one. Uh, that'll make two for this. We can turn these into slabs so we could have up to eight. So we could have double this. We can have 24. We're so close. We need just a couple more blocks. So we need a thing to break. Okay, so now we have we have what could be up to 25 blocks. We are at where are we at? Just a 08, um, 1808, 31. We need 23 blocks to get there. 
Okay, if I can't do it, I'm just going to be waiting for these trees to grow up anyway, so there's no real risk in me crafting these into slabs, because nothing I can do to fix that anyway. Let's try to get... I shouldn't have put these snowballs down here, but get a couple more blocks. Let's see what we can do. Look at that. Plenty of plenty of blocks to spare. We had five extra whole extra slabs. So let me get back to my main area and we're going to go get reestablished and then see what we still have from the uh, death. Because I know that in the last video I tried to show you some of the stuff I picked up, but that is not exactly showing you what stuff I, you know, lost to the void. That was a silly way to recover. Um, I do not recommend obsidian your lava. You definitely need to put your uh, hole for the water to flow into right next to the water source and not right next to the lava source. I am rusty, so um, happens to everybody. I know other people have obsidian in their lava like that in the past, so... I mean, I could have just jumped and not told you that I did it, but... It would have been dishonest, and it was kind of a fun challenge to uh, mix up the mistake. Oh, and you want to know what is a good thing I double-checked? Um, going the wrong... I was actually going the wrong direction. I went about 300 blocks the wrong way. I need to go to negative positive, not negative negative. Negative negative is my original shame island. I don't want to go there. I want to go to my, my home. Well, that's the first rune portal that we had found. If you remember from one of the early episodes, I think that was the other Bridge of Shame episode. And there is my raid tower outpost, whatever you want to call it thing. So we are almost home and it was a bit of a walk. Once we get back we can get geared back up. And I think that's what we'll end up focusing on is recovering. And I could talk about why I absolutely love having villagers and villager trading halls. Well, that is a beautiful sight. Break the fence post, put it back in, and now I'm back to safety. So we're gonna do two things. Like I said earlier, we're going to see what we lost and what we need to recover. That's my second book of shame. Now we're going to go in here and I don't think I showed this in any of the videos yet, but like I've, I've said that I've been trading away iron and whatnot, but the number of emeralds, it always looks like I'm short. I keep forgetting to show. I do have <laughs> plenty of iron and plenty of emeralds in here. And honestly, I forgot I had it. Um, and I know that is stupid to forget that you have like plenty of emeralds and plenty of uh, this is what happens when you take a break from playing for a little bit. So we're going to get some iron. We're going to trade it away. While we're trading it away, we're going to buy boots and a hat. We're going to trade this one away. We're going to buy pants and a jacket. Put these on so run into a bad guy. It doesn't hurt me that much. We're going to buy an... I don't think we want to buy that axe. We're going to buy a silk touch pick. We're going to buy a sharpness axe and a sword. And then gonna sell, oh, that guy's expensive. We're gonna sell some iron, sell some more iron. And then we're going to buy a bookshelf or two, break the bookshelf, buy a couple of mending, but I can't do that until I get some more emeralds. And then we need to buy a bow. So we're gonna buy a power two bow just because. And let's look through what do we have. We're definitely gonna buy fortune. Uh, might as well buy another mending book. Power 5. You know what? It's already locked in. I'm gonna buy a power 5. We're just gonna have to carry arrows on us until we get infinity. Now, we're gonna put... Well, first we're gonna put fortune and mending together. We're gonna put that on our axe. And we're gonna put mending... And I think I have another efficiency book to put on my silk touch pick. And then we'll go look and see what we have the map. Efficiency 4, Sharpness 3. I think I'm going to use the Efficiency 4. I do have another Unbreaking book. Let's grab some more food before we forget about it. All right, now, Power 5 on our bow. I wish I had an Unbreaking Villager. Could roll for one, but not going to do that right now. Now to the Nether. 
Oh man, it's been a while. I've actually, it's been a couple of weeks because life is always busy. Just, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's going to be really hard for us, for me to remain super consistent because life is so busy. But, um, I am actually back in the nether. It's kind of cool. Okay, well, we stopped off and we picked up our Heart of the Sea, some netherrack, the music disc that we got in the other city, uh, some arrows and some emeralds and a little bit of blackstone. Nothing too crazy. Um, actually, I'm going to bring this all back and put it away and then we can look at the other location that we went to, which was, you know, that death trap of an ancient city. I'm not going to do much over there other than get whatever we had dropped off and bring it back home. So we dropped off all of the stuff. Um, I still have a little bit of extra gear on me that I don't really need. I guess I didn't need to carry these books the whole way, but I brought a chest so that way we can at least start transporting things to the nether side. And then I don't have to go through the portals as much because portals take a long time to go through. Not sure if that's a skyblock thing or I'm still playing at 1.19.40. It could be a 1.19.40 thing, who knows? So we'll just stick that there. Held shift while going through the portal because that's what you got to do. We'll take those. That I definitely need. I don't need the cobble right now, so we'll leave it in there. Okay, we got the skull catalyst. That's one that I was really worried about losing. And we got swift sneak too. That's going to be important. And we got a skull sensor. Not really that important. So we lost some stuff, but mainly it was like coal and our tools and stuff that, you know, is generally able to be replaced. So we got glowberries. And we got some amethyst, and let's get back to the main area. So we're back from the ancient city, and I'm just putting things away quick. So I'm trying to get organized, and I'm going to go through my chests as they are right now. So this is stone bits, and I have dirt in there for now. This is wood logs, wood bits stuff. Some of it is valuable, some of it is just junk, but miscellaneous stuff. Meats and uh, like mob drops. This is uh, farmable, like plantable things. Snow, boats, because I have a lot of those. Uh, equipment, uh, this is, well, it's totems plus village supplies plus saddles, which I don't know why I have those mixed together, but um, at least it's mainly village supplies. Discs actually are in their own box. And then these books, I'm probably going to put those down here with uh, these books just because. So empty chest, coal, and then redstone components. We really need to work on those redstone components. So hopefully um, I can make some progress there. I see a wandering trader. It's been a minute since we've seen one of those. So let's jump up and see what he has for sale. Um, there's some serious lag. All right, so let's see what you have. You have small drip leaf. Let's buy a couple of those. And then blue ice, I'm gonna buy those because I know that's expensive, but that's a lot of mining and I can get emeralds pretty easily. The rest of this, I don't need. Maybe we'll grab another propagule because I know we have one, but just in case. We're back. We've got gear. It's not all perfect, but we've got gear. Um, we didn't have to go that far to get back. We ate, were able to recover our items from there, uh, from the various points. Next time, I think we're going to do some more exploring of the nether. I know we had three episodes of that, but I really want to find some way to get gold or some way to get, basically, I, I need to get something that I can move forward with. I'm going to have to just build um, a general mob farm and, and call that good. I was really hoping to be able to get a barter farm and be able to do that out of Deep Slate or Blackstone. So um, we'll see if we can get something like that going. Anyway, since you made it to the end of the video, we're going to do this again. And um, this time we're going to use We're Back. I think you know why, because we're back to surviving again. So hopefully you enjoyed. Anyway, this is Matt Hatter and I'm out.